in Australia to promote her brand new debut single called Here, Alessia Cara. Hey. Boo, boo, boo. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. So we know by now um, your new song is called Here. You're yeah. from Canada. You're 19 years old. What else does Australia listening right now need to know about Alessia Cara? Good question. Um, what should you know about me? Well, I, I started on YouTube. I mm-hmm. got my start on YouTube. That's kind of how everything started for me. Got discovered on there. Um, and then what else? I've been signed to Def Jam um, for so about cool. a year. Yeah, it's awesome. It's coolest, coolest label. Absolutely. I know. It's like the best thing. It is. Yes. That was the first label I've ever actually heard of in my life when I was a kid. Amazing. So then when I was little, I thought that everyone everyone got signed to the same label. I thought Def Jam was the only label. Oh, yeah. So I would always used to say, like, I want to get signed to Def Jam one day. And I actually did. did. I mean, we have to talk about, and everyone wants to talk about it, but we're about to do a cover that you're going to do of Drake. So mm. the cover that we, we have heard, the world has heard, Taylor Swift has heard, is your version of Bad Blood. Yeah. How long does it take for you to reinterpret a cover? Because obviously it's not the same bit. You even mm. did Kendrick Lamar's raps in there. Mm-hmm. How, how long did it take for you to get the, the composition right, to get the pianos right, to decide to click for a part in the beat? How did that come about? <sighs> Literally, the, the night before we kind of came up with the instrumental, it was really, really rushed. We just kind of, I, I don't know, I have this thing where I was just talking about this. Like if, if I rehearse, especially covers too much, then I lose like the mm. feeling. So I try not to rehearse too much. So we just did the night before the instrumental and then, I just like I just learned the lyrics like the day of and then I, I just practiced it one time before and then I just recorded it and that's what it is. Incredible. I'm just glad I didn't mess up the words. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want Taylor Swift's fans coming after you. Yeah, like, like it's you did not, a... not and Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and she noticed it. She did. What was that like? What was that when you saw that tweet? Where were you surely, and what was your reaction? Surely part of you was like hoping, like, I hope Taylor sees it. Yeah. I hope she tweets me. I get I guess, but I didn't think she would. So I didn't like, you know, of course every time you make a make a cover, it'd be cool if the artist saw it. But yeah. you don't think that they will, you know mm. what I mean? So I was on my phone and I saw it in real time. Like I was on my phone and I saw the notification. <gasps> It was one of those. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is like unreal. It was yeah. so cool that she saw it. You've also been noticed by Drake as well. A Drizzy. Yes. <sighs> Drizzy Drake. He's, He's a Canadian. fellow Canadian. He's just yeah. sticking together. He's my favorite. I love him. I want that owl necklace oh, yeah. more than anything. I want to be part of the OVO club more than any human in the world. <laughs> I think anybody, if you believe hard enough, you can be. <laughs> and Angus, really. I mean, can look at the guy. Really? <laughs> you can, if I can be, you can be.